This is Case by Case from the City Attorney's Office. I'm extremely happy that we were able to conclude our Healthy San Francisco Surcharge Fraud Enforcement Program as successfully as we did. We contacted several dozen restaurants and we wanted answers about shortfalls they reported between the fees that they charge customers for Healthy San Francisco and the, amounts they, the amount they spent to actually provide those benefits to their employees. San Francisco enacted the Health Care Security Ordinance in 2007 and that created our universal health care program called Healthy San Francisco. It allowed employers to charge a small fee or a surcharge to cover the cost of complying with their health care spending requirements. And if they didn't, well, under the law, that's consumer fraud. So the city attorney's office made a one-time 50% settlement offer to restaurants um, where they could come in and pay that money directly out to the employees. Um, alternatively, they could come in and prove to us that there was an error in their reporting and that in fact they did not owe that money to their employees. I had not received medical care. I usually just don't go to the doctor when something was wrong with me or if I had to, I would go to a clinic. It's important for restaurant workers to be healthy because you're exposed to the general public. So. I think for that reason it's important to have affordable health care so that it can stay healthy. We were able to reach settlements with dozens of restaurants that has resulted in over two million dollars that is being paid directly to nearly 4,000 restaurant employees in San Francisco. So it's been a wildly successful program. I'm very grateful to Dennis Herrera for um, getting involved in this situation and helping us to get the, the benefits that we were entitled to. The most important thing is we collected more than $2 million that went directly to restaurant workers. And we didn't need to file a single lawsuit to do it. Learn more about the San Francisco City Attorney's Office by visiting sfcityattorney.org.